Tag TV and Tag Radio be seen and heard by both technology users and technology producers throughout the state of Georgia and around the world. Low cost, big benefits, powerhouse online branded video and audio has arrived. Tag TV, Tag Radio, there's a lot more to know. This edition of Tech Talk is brought to you by Globalspeak.com. New media consultants, corporate video and audio communications, video and audio production and distribution, live and virtual event production. Tag TV and Tag Radio is a service of Globalspeak.com, creatively delivering powerful marketing, video, and audio solutions. Bond, James Bond. <laughs> Forget the fictional 007 super-empowered secret agent that could accomplish, well, seemingly impossible things. Enter reality, the intelligent agent. That's right, technology used to develop highly acclaimed decision-aiding systems, like, well, software that thinks and increases the speed of smart. Believe it or not, a company headquartered right here in Alpharetta pioneered intelligent agent technology by combining decision support software, knowledge engineering, and discipline systems engineering. How's this for a value proposition? The company says its software solution overcomes human limitations, like sensory input, memory limitations, distractions, cognitive and emotional bias. Oh, and I almost forgot, fatigue. Greetings, everyone. It's Thursday, July 14th, 2011, and this is the second of a month-long Tech Talk focus on the upcoming 2011 Spirit of Endeavor Awards with Technology Association of Georgia President Tino Mantella. Tech America and TAG joined forces nearly nine years ago to create a special awards banquet honoring those among us that both embodied and displayed the spirit of endeavor in the, in the creation and execution of technology. While our focus each week this month will honor a past Endeavor Award winner, equally as important is to alert one and all TAG members and the greater Tech Talk listening audience that nominations for this year's awards recognition are now open. However, judging and ultimate selection will come to an end soon. Then it's the Gala Awards Banquet on December 9th where winners will be announced. Up to the spirit and the Tech Talk Endeavor Awards focus, Norman Gedes, Chairman and CTO and Distinguished Science at Applied Science Systems Intelligence Incorporated, ASI. ASI is the developer of the highly advanced decision-aiding software, PREACT, used to empower intelligent agents and is a 2010 Spirit of Endeavor Awards winning company for technology innovation. Dr. Gedes is a leading researcher on the creation and validation of real-time computer models of human beliefs and intentions. His groundbreaking use of real-time models has been recognized by numerous prestigious awards. The list of recognition is both long and impressive, matched only by his educational degrees, military service, research, patents, and industry association leadership. Dr. Gedes founded ASI in 1990. Get ready to increase your speed of smart as Tino Tech Talks Intelligent Agents in the Spirit of Endeavor with ASI Chairman and CTO, Dr. Norman Gedes. Norm, thanks for joining me on Tech Talk today. Well, glad to be here, Tino. Uh, congratulations on last year's award, 2010 winner of uh, Technology Innovation in the Spirit of Endeavor. And we'll get to that in a bit, but I think uh, for some of our listeners, you have a very interesting company that you've started and grown here in Georgia. So I'd like you to tell our listening audience a little bit about that. Sure, I'd be delighted to. Our, our company, Applied Systems Intelligence, Inc., is a, a leader in defense and commercial applications of artificial intelligence. Uh, we're one of the few companies uh, in the U.S. that actually specializes in that. And uh, our focus is human-centered, intelligent decision-aiding. So we try to help humans that have difficult uh, decisions to make and fast-paced, high-stakes uh, situations where you really can't afford to be wrong. And is how much technology, I know you use a lot of technology in this, but uh, what can you tell me about that? Well, sure. We um, we developed one of the first um, full-scope uh, artificial intelligence engines. Back in the early days, people thought that you could just have 
uh, rules that would say, you know, if this, then that. Right. But as as we understood how to make really smart systems, we realized, no, you have to have a lot more than that. So our company was actually born out of a uh, DARPA program and has done a whole lot for the military in making uh, intelligent systems that really are understandable by a human and think like a human. So we, we wrote our own engine, our own knowledge uh, development environment, our own test environment. So we're we're pretty much uh, pioneers in this area. And I know that a lot of this is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is uh, high, I'll call it top secret. I'm not sure if that's the right terminology, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. you know, we do we do some sensitive things, but yeah. uh, we also use the same technology for commercial things as well. And uh, one of the interesting things that happens when you make a uh, a good AI system is that you can put knowledge in it for different domains. So we can take the same software that we use to do sensitive things for the Department of Defense, put different knowledge in it, and make it into commercial applications. Very interesting. So I assume then, based on what you just said, that you have some Georgia companies that are using your technology or companies in the U.S. that are outside of defense that are just using this for better decision-making. Is that right? Uh, right. Uh, that's true. And, in fact, um, we we have in the past uh, worked across quite a few different domains, including um, uh, supply chain management for uh, electronics manufacturing. So we had one of our major customers right here in the Atlanta area for that. We've also done a lot of work in intelligent analytics, uh, so being able to analyze large chunks of data to figure out what that data means. So let's move to the award. Uh, you won the award last year, uh, Spirit of Endeavor Award, and uh, what did that mean for your company? Well, this was really a, a great honor to us. You know, we've been – uh, part of TAG and Tech America for uh, 10 years now. Back when TAG was first formed, we right. were members of that. And uh, same thing for early or joining Tech America early, back when it was still AEA. And uh, we've we've been uh, really uh, appreciative of the fact that these awards help signal to the surrounding community uh, what companies are really bringing uh, value to the community. One of our long-term uh, goals has been to help build a stronger technology community in Atlanta, and uh, we, we look at this program, the Spirit of Endeavor Awards, as really one of the uh, powerful ways to help bring the whole Atlanta community up to understanding what technology we have on our doorstep. That's great. And for those folks that are out there listening that might be thinking about applying for the 2011 awards in our December 9th event, um, what, what kind of advice would you give them? Well, I, I think, um, you know, it, it's a by nomination. So uh, I know that for us, uh, we have uh, many you know, strategic allies and friends in the in the Atlanta community that we've worked with over the years. And I think getting recognition from your peers like that is really what the whole what the award is really about so i would say if you have customers that you know you've really delighted or uh, that you should ask them if they would be interested in nominating your company for one of the awards because really that nomination process is a reflection of how well you're delighting your customers well, excellent. I think that's uh, a good uh, credibility certainly coming from you and your company that will hopefully spur on some others to apply. Uh, one last thing, going back to your company. So you're a Georgia company. You started it here. Any, uh, if you look out five years, what would you like to see in respect to, uh, to your company? Well, we've got a really strong uh, position in Department of Defense right now, but we would really like to be able to move some of our pioneering technology uh, from the defense world into the commercial world. So as I look out ahead five years, I kind of see kind of two pieces to it. One part is uh, the whole um, uh, Atlanta and Georgia community recognizing that they do have a technology ecosystem here and that they can do business with each other. We'd like to be a part of that by being able to bring this kind of technology to the, the major companies that have uh, headquarters here in the Atlanta area. So if you're listening in, we have a number of major companies, the employees that do listen into this program, pick up the phone and uh, contact ASI and, and Norm, and uh, I'm sure he'd like to tell you about what they can do for your company. So, Norm, 
on that note, thank you very much for uh, joining me on Tech Talk today. Well, thanks, Tina. It was my pleasure to be here.